Hello everyone, happy new year 2020. I'm going to be doing the reading for the rabbit. Okay, so I've written down uh, some important um, information for you guys and predictions. And I will do also the quarterly uh, reading, which is a reading for each three months. So quarter one, two, three, and four. And um, yeah, so let's get started. So what's really fun about the rabbit is the story of how the Chinese zodiac was formed by the numbers of, of which animal went first. And the rabbit was ahead of, in the race, kind of like, you know, the tortoise and the hare kind of reminds me of that, how the rabbit, you know, is, is the rabbit is very kind, very good. It's a, it's a good nature animal. However, was a little bit cocky in thinking that, oh, I'll, I'll win the race. So decided to just, you know, take a nap on the side of the road, right? And when he woke up, the tiger already was ahead and the rabbit made his way. And, and that's how the rabbit became the fourth in the line, right? So it's a four year. And I, in the other videos, I kept saying, I kept having a feeling. I wasn't even thinking about it. It was just intuitive. It was so weird. I think the light shadow on the wall kind of reminded me of a rabbit. It was it's the weirdest thing. It's weird, but it is what it is, right? It, I think it's like my camera post. I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, the handle looks... Anyway, it's funny, but I kept saying, hmm, that looks like a rabbit. I wonder what that means. So it's the fourth animal in in um, the line, you know? The weird things happen. Hey, this is where the weirdos hang out, Okay. So it's the fourth animal uh, in the Chinese zodiac, and it's a four year. Okay, very cool. And if you watch the the other the first two videos, which is the the rat and the ox, you'll hear me mention the rabbit. So it's a four year. So I want to start off with that. Okay, so four is about our uh, limitations, right? And it also has. Um, restriction in it as well, which reminds me of Saturn, but it is more related to Uranus and the sun energy, okay? So four is about our visions, right? Whether it's spiritual or realistic in the real world, okay? And it's also about management, right? It's also about effort, determination, priority, what comes first for you, right? You, and like I already said, Uranus is related to the sun. So when you think of the number four, right? Four is associated with the planet Uranus and Uranus um, is related to the sun. And I'll get to that in another video. I feel like I have to divide it all up. So four is about being, your being, right? But also your being as far as your mind, body, and spirit within the physical world. And the structure and the organization of the physical world. Okay, so we have to be disciplined this year. Definitely a Saturn energy, but more so, it has more for Uranus energy, which is about liberation and freedom. And you think it's a war year, and it's a year of war. Okay, and then for the Chinese, um, the word the word um, the, the a four sounds like four sounds like death. So Everything is sound. Sound is very powerful, right? So, and 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 a belief is very powerful. So, with that and the history of that and the vibration of that, holding that energy, it does have to do with a drastic change. Okay, so death, war, and so on. So, Uranus' highest higher octave planet is Mercury, and you think of Mercury as sending messages, right? So, I'll do another video on that because it's really important. But the main thing to realize is that this year is a definite four year and uh, rabbit is not a friend of the rat. Okay. So with that being said, rabbit will have to incorporate feng shui and really be in more observant of your thoughts and your actions and really thinking before you act. So rabbit is friends with dog, pig, goat, but he's not necessarily a friend of rooster, dragon, and the rat, okay? Your lucky numbers is four and nine. This year is um, going to be a middle year for you, like more of a, of a three if you're going from one to five. So it's really strongly based on your actions, okay? Now, 
your health will benefit from fresh air, um, you know, keeping your space clean, like I said before um, in another reading. Uh, salt lamps, um, humidifier, you know, essential, essential oil humidifier like lemon is very good. Any essential oil that cleans the air and actually physically cleaning your space, keeping the floors clean and all of that. So um, your air is very good. Uh, for you this this year, for any year, for anyone, but especially this year, okay? Also, also um, your diet is important. And walking, getting getting in touch with, with um, the earth, okay? Getting in touch with the earth, even barefoot if you can, if it's not cold, you know, um, a, a temperature that's pleasing for you. So even connecting with nature, um, the, the soles of your feet, this is very important, grounding, okay? You're... Your money and your wealth this year is all about saving and not being greedy and really thinking about do you need something? Why you know why are you getting it? But still enjoy your year, but but being mindful, all right? And and being ready to adapt to change. When things change, it's very important to um, start adapting to the changes, all right? If you own your own business, this is very important, Rabbit. If you own your own business, adapting to new things, learning new things, uh, making the time, changing up, you know, really making the time. Um, and that's not easy all the time, making the time to learn something new or to hire someone. Uh, but mainly, what can you do to make make small changes to adapt with the times? Your prosperous direction is east, southeast or south. Okay. And your wealth direction is northeast. Or southeast okay and and I'm giving a little bit more in, information um, it it just pops up so if I give more information in one video than the other um, you know just leave a message and let me know because I'm pretty sure you know um, someone else might watch a, a sign that that's their partners and might say hey we didn't get that okay so your love direction is east and the best time of the day for you is between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. Those are your power hours where you can chant, meditate, stretch, um, okay? And um, those might not be the best time to eat because some of your, in, in, in qi, medical Qigong, some of your organs might be, might be, you know, working at that point. So even if you get up, you want to be relaxed, okay? Um, you're more on the earthly branch, wood, and you are yin, Y-I-N, okay? So if you have any questions, you can definitely message me. All right, so let's get into the quarters. So the first quarter of the year, as the new year starts January 25th or 24th, depending on where you are with the Chinese New Year is recognized as January 25th. Okay, the first quarter, uh, some of you might, might be cheating on your partner or experience a cheating situation. Okay, so your attraction and your self-love for yourself and really paying attention to yourself, beautifying yourself, taking care of yourself is very important. Okay, um, your partner might leave you and and you'll have to, you know, recognize that. Okay, don't lose or give up on yourself, you know, so really working on yourself and play it cool and allow yourself to be in the present moment. Um, um, be, if, be realistic with yourself. OK, uh, allow your life to flow and allow love to come back into your life. Um, the good thing in the first quarter is that your money is good. And and that's why we're, you know, we're, you're, you're watching this video right now is to know what to do ahead and to really trust your intuition and save your money and be mindful of that. Work is good. Money is good in the first quarter. Relationship might be a little bit tricky. If you are married, then this is a great time at the beginning of the year to make um, uh, time for each other. Make sure you have your own personal time and and just a, horm a harmonious place. The second quarter is about you being charming and charming others and allowing um, life to just flow, allowing things to flow, be natural with yourself, be natural with life, allow things to come and go into your life and just really trusting in the universe and just trusting the flow of things and just doing the best that you can. Some of you, if you're single, you will find love and your relationship in the second quarter, those three months in the second quarter of the uh, moon cycle year, you'll find love, money will be good, your career will be 
stable and that's good. Uh, if you don't know what your dream career is for most of you in the second quarter, you will find your life path purpose. You will find your dream job. All right. In the third quarter and, and, and the second quarter, again, money is good. Health is, is good. All right. But for the whole year, you really want to make sure that your lungs are OK. Um, your breathing is OK for you and so on. So, you know, making healthy choices with, with your, your quality of your, your air. OK. The third quarter is time to plan your new life. So a lot of you might be going through changes in your life where you're um, going into your new chapter to make a new beginning for yourself. So you're setting new goals for yourself and you're having um, new dreams for yourself. So you're in that dream stage of making things possible. All right. Um, some of you, if you're in a relationship, your relationship will be growing even more. Okay. Um, and for others, if you're in, in a marriage or a uh, relationship, um, for others, your, your mate might be falling out of sync with you, out, out of the relationship with you, okay? Life can be um, not um, as pleasant. If you are in a, an engagement or in a relationship and the person might not want to get married, it might not be the right time for that person. They might be setting up goals for themselves or there might be a family issue that is taking a lot of their time or that might be sad. So um, not pushing um, marriage or commitment at that time, okay? Um, that your partner might have a goal for themselves. So change the way that you think about love and the way the, your concept of love and marriage and relationship, really looking at it in, um, in a different way, okay? Because um, it might not be the way that someone said it should be for you. You have to really look at life the way that it is for you rather than a textbook or what someone else thinks that it should be. The fourth quarter, you have to ask yourself what is missing from your life before you expect someone to fulfill those needs for you. So if you're looking for your partner in your marriage or your relationship to fulfill uh, what is missing or a hole within yourself, that could cause strain on the relationship. So before that you ask what that other person can do for you to think, okay, what's missing? What's really the issue? What am I missing? And really work on that. And then also see the positive attributes of other people um, in your life. Learn to appreciate them and not take your stress out on them because Doing so, you might end up alone in your future life and you're going to need good people around you when you feel down so you can be uplifting for them as well. If you're single, don't rush love in the fourth quarter. Again, allowing things to flow. Maybe there's something else you're supposed to be working on rather than worrying about um, a relationship and you will find the right person. They will, they will be attracted to you because your energy is going to be so high on doing what is right for you. Um, if you're single again, flirt, be happy, um, date, and and just being safe and enjoying um, meeting new people. Okay, so rabbit, I hope you enjoy this reading. Um, the rabbit, which I think is really cool, is also associated with the moon. So if you happen to be um, a water sign and a rabbit, that's pretty special, especially like Cancer zodiac. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else? Uh, really feng shuiing your home by um, by keeping the space clear. And I'm not going to cards. I'm, I'm just looking at the shuffle. <laughs> um, but um, feng shuiing your home, adding a money tree for all 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 zodiacs that are not friends of the rabbit will need to really strengthen their money quarter. Okay, so for Western uh, feng shui, when you enter the room, it's the very left corner of the room is the money corner. Okay, and then you can also, for your prosperous uh, wealth direction, you also want to put like um, a happy Buddha there or a coin money Buddha or a money tree, um, something that represents prosperity and keep that area clean and organized. All right, so thank you guys so much. If you have any questions, let me know. Click like, um, share, and Happy 2020.